8 at 5 starts now. It is such a moment of hope because we can see the light. We can see the, the end of this pandemic. It's the beginning of the end. Largest vaccination campaign in U.S. history now underway as the United States hits a grim milestone. The death toll in the country has topped 300,000. Healthcare workers across the nation are the first in the United States to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Multiple states are administering the vaccine already. This is video of the first person here in Indiana getting the vaccine. The state health department says the first doses of the vaccine were administered at Parkview Health in Fort Wayne just after noon today. The doses went to a physician, a nurse, respiratory therapist, pharmacist, patient care tech, and environmental service tech. More than 20,000 healthcare workers in Indiana have already registered to get the vaccine. Indiana hospitals and clinics are set to receive more than 55,000 doses by the end of the week, and more shipments will arrive each week. The vaccine is on the way. Good evening. I'm Alexis Rogers. I'm Phil Sanchez. Thank you for joining us tonight. The first batch of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine is in Indiana and shots could begin in central Indiana in the matter of days. I teammate Richard Essex is at Methodist Hospital tonight where they expect Richard to have the vaccine Thursday. There are 400,000 healthcare workers here in the state of Indiana, and the state of Indiana is expected to get 350 doses of the Pfizer vaccine in the next 16 days. Now, this week, hospitals like Methodist and Community Health are expected to receive a few thousand doses that will be given first to frontline COVID-19 workers. The first batch of COVID-19 vaccine has arrived in Indiana. Dr. Ram Yoletti of Community Health Network told IT Mate the first people to receive the vaccination are healthcare workers in long-term healthcare facilities. Yeah, we're very excited. Our first dose is supposed to come by Thursday afternoon. We're going to get probably a couple thousand doses. And so starting right early uh, Friday morning at 7 a.m., around the clock, we're going to go all throughout the weekend vaccinating as many people as we can that want to get vaccinated. According to the latest data from the Indiana State Department of Health, almost 3,100 COVID-19 patients are in the hospital, and 40% of the ICU beds are taken up by those patients. Dr. Paul Calkins of IU Health says the hospital staff caring for the most critically ill are expected to be among the first to get the vaccine. But it turns out there's enough interest among our frontline folks that we thought it was better if they got it. So I'm already signed up to get it, but I'm waiting a while to let the people that need it because they take, take care of COVID patients to get it first. People that have contracted the virus within the past couple of months can probably wait a while for the vaccine. The vaccine was not tested on pregnant women or children under the age of 12. They should talk to their doctor first before getting the shot. There are some side effects that tend to affect younger people. If you're younger, you tend to have more side effects. If you're older, you don't. I'll say that it's early on, it's only been eight weeks, but they evaluated 70,000 folks. So, so far, no racial ethnicity difference that we could tell. The data will play out in the next several months, but for now, it looks pretty promising for all categories. IU Methodist is one of five pilot hospitals chosen to receive the vaccine first. By the end of the week, 55,000 doses of the vaccine will be in the hands of health care workers at 50 Indiana hospitals. Community Health is expected to receive 14,000 doses by the end of the month. And, but look at it from the state as a whole. The state's going to get 350,000 doses by December 31st. The Pfizer vaccine will require a second dose in 21 days, and reportedly the side effects from the second dose are more intense than the first. Now, there is an online registry for healthcare workers to sign up to get the vaccine, but over the weekend, there was such a demand that, that it was very slow, and today that site actually crashed for a while. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.